My name is Elder Medeiros and uh, I'm uh, have doing Jiu Jitsu since like uh, 98 and uh, as athlete uh, I, I had uh, six times a world championship and uh, in that time to Brazilian championship to so Pan Ams and uh, uh, Sul American so I have some some uh, good results as athletes and uh, after some time I I'm, I'm decided to move to AE and I totally uh, started uh, start to to starting to be like a good coach and a, and a good professor so actually I I doing this since I was athlete mm -hmm. and I start teaching some guys that come in and uh, after I move here and only dedicate for for that so more or less is uh, in short way this this is my life this is uh, talk to us about your nickname, Bob Sponge. Yeah, my nickname when was when I was blue belt. I was training in São Paulo with uh, Master Fernando Terere, and uh, he saw me training and uh, he tried to call me, and uh, but uh, he didn't know my name. So he said, uh, look to me and say, uh, come on, come on, uh, SpongeBob. So some of that guys listen, and there was some guys that. Uh, Today the guys are like uh, great friends, like uh, Alan Fifo and Sandrinho and uh, Budal, and uh, the guys listen that uh, in Rio de Janeiro. He said this in São Paulo, but this coming to Rio de Janeiro one day when I come compete, and the guys start like uh, laughing a lot, and uh, you know, and uh, everybody is starting like call me only SpongeBob, SpongeBob. And then when, in the same time, I have good results in Jiu-Jitsu too. So, so everybody forget. Even even my wife today call me only Bob. So it's like everybody call me Bob. If in some place they you say like uh, Elder Medeiros, maybe the guy don't know. But uh, as a uh, if say SpongeBob, uh, the guy's gonna 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 know that it's me. <laughs> now, uh, Bob, you're also known for. Um your involvement with the UAE Jiu-Jitsu Federation. Can you talk about that? Can you talk about what you're do currently working with uh, uh, the the younger generation of the Federation? Yeah, I'm, I'm starting teaching here in, in school. And uh, after I grow up a little bit in the company and uh, became a team leader after supervisor too. And uh, one day I'm... I'm my boss uh, gave me invitation to come and take care about some kids uh, for some special project. That 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 time they call like national team, and uh, but it's just like a first project. And uh, we, me and a, a good friend like Hedges Rodriguez, start teach them that the kids that came like more or less half coming from like students of Hedges and the some that starting coming and we start teach that kids and and uh, as like a professional team so they start become like in different level they are like special but when they train like a professional kids they start like come in in another level so uh, so we start we start from there and uh, right now we have like a different program that uh, I teach advanced uh, belts uh, teenage in the IP Arena Club, and uh, have many many other others class there. That the plan is when have some big competition, they gonna they gonna invite the best kids and uh, the coach that had the better result mm -hmm. during the, the the path and uh, and I wanna choose. Mm -hmm. So, but I take care I took care of some very special kids mm -hmm. under my responsibilities, more or less 20, 25, and. Uh, these 25 special kids and have around like a 10 that I'm really sure that if they keep going, they're going to be like a world champions in black belt. So mm -hmm. they really uh, had right now opportunities that my generation don't have, mm -hmm. you know, support of the government. So they just need to have the desire to training and they have all the support. So it's impossible to have like a very, very high level fighters mm -hmm. here very soon. You've also been uh, accredited by training some of the higher level uh, black belts that do reside in the UAE. Uh, could you talk about some of the people that you've, you that you work with over here and how you're also working with them as a coach? Yeah, this is that like a, 
my boss and friend too is uh, Jose Junior. Uh, that time when I came, uh, he knows that I'm take care about uh, some guys that uh, have like a great name in the sport. For example, like uh, Antonio Carlos Junior, Scarlet Sapato. He's a world champion many times and uh, now UFC fighter. And uh, Alexander Trans too in that time. Like uh, Alexander started training with me like uh, when since he took like a uh, purple belt and a long, maybe five years ago. And uh, when I came here, he had had the idea do we, do we make like a small group that uh, but guys that really want to to have like a training because when the guys come here, they come to teach. So they need to to find they, they, they didn't find one one place. To, to they feel that uh, they had what they need to train. Mm -hmm. So Jose Junior had the idea to, to, to say, let's, let's do a group. And uh, I invite my student, like uh, first, first, like uh, first guys that started like uh, uh, Gido Bastos, that uh, is, uh, is not like, uh, in the world, he's, uh, it's not everybody that know him, but he's one of, you know, he's an amazing guy in the UAE, he had like uh, amazing results. Even when some great guys coming here have, you know, bad time in his hands, so he's a great guy, Gido. And uh, Pedro Perez uh, was like a one guy from Sao Paulo that trained too. Um, José Júnior, Oscar Júnior, that two guys are great here. And uh, Alexandre Odebrecht, like GB, he's a great teacher in Dubai and I have good results here too. So we start with this and uh, like a one month before the awards here, the the OJJ uh, awards. So in one month we had very hard camp, and the uh, six guys had the result that the two coming to the final, you know. And that time Oscar had had the you know the opportunity to beat like go to campus, and uh, and go to campus just arrived from from Pan Ams and uh, you know that did the amazing competition there. So. We did like a great result. Uh, Pedro Perez just stopped in Rodolfo Vieira. That is like a, maybe the, the number one in the world. And uh, Jose Junior stopped for Braga Neto in the final two in very tough fight. And uh, Oscar did this this uh, very, very, have had very nice result too. So he started from there. The guy said, man, that's it. That's the, the way that need to train in. I, I believe in the, in the, in the plan and the methodology of this guy. So I started training these guys and they started to become like, a, you know, like a, had better results. Mm -hmm. So after that, some guys tried to, to come and, uh, and, uh, and I had the same training. So for example, like Luana Ozugi, it's, uh, don't need to, to say who is Luana, it's one of the best in, of all the times. And uh, she come to me and asked to train too. Mm -hmm. So, I try to help that guys, mm -hmm. you know, under OJJ, I try to help the guys because they, the main thing is have a lot of guys with different teams that come here and don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So I try to help the guys, doesn't matter the team mm -hmm. under the way. So uh, uh, as a OJJ coach, I try to help the guys to give, okay, I'm gonna, gonna help you to, to keep in high level. So that's what happened and uh, we still so far, so works. So they, the guys are happy. So Alexander Trans moved to move to 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 a just to train with me. Mm -hmm. So and now he, he he moved to Brazil because he, he has different plans. So um, every, this is what happened. So good stuff. Now, uh, where do you see uh, Jiu Jitsu headed as a coach in a long term vision? Where do you, where do you see the future of the UAE and on a global basis? Yeah, I, I believe that uh, I never seen the guys invest so so hard in some, you know, in, in Jiu-Jitsu like the guys. So, I mean, that have the federation of uh, different, different federation, IBJJF, that like uh, we, we have nothing to take, take it off of the guys because, I mean, like uh, the guys building the sport, I mean, coming like art martial arts and the guy you know, create the sport that we had. And uh, it's, you know, big and uh, it's the very respectful. Mm -hmm. 
but here the guys like uh, have uh, one vision to come to to Olympic Games and some, you know, this way. And I really believe that very soon we're gonna reach like Olympic Games and we're gonna we're gonna have like uh, kids here reaching the level of the the best in the world like uh, Rafa Mendes, Bochecha, Rodolfo, Cobrinha, all these little Leandro Lo, because the, the the kids have all the support. That's what I. I'm saying so very soon we're gonna have here black belts elite team and uh, maybe you know maybe the the biggest competition in the world now have the Grand Slam that have the different idea and I like one perspective to give, give opportunity to the guys have a rank and uh, you know and uh, have like a big 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 uh, uh, prize so they they bring as a professional you know much much professional sport so the future is going to be you know brilliant well thank you so much Heather. appreciate it appreciate the time. yeah yeah thank you so much thank you for the opportunity so so i hope you i hope everybody likes and uh let's get close to to you know more often to to have like uh you know good interviews and uh Maybe one day show some position or something that I can can help you in the in the mat. That uh, here is not talking is not my place, but it's like uh, showing position. So thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you. Yes.